Okay, let's talk about basic calculus. And you're going to see here, I'm going to do a basic calculus problem. And it's going to look pretty easy because it's not that difficult. Now, if you are taking calculus, there's a lot more, you know, advanced problems you're going to have to do beyond this. But if you've never taken calculus, you're going to get a good sense of um, some of the rules that we apply or some of the things that we do in calculus, and they're not that difficult. So even if you're only taking basic algebra, you'll be able to understand, hopefully, what I'm going to be doing here. It's not going to be that difficult at all, but really... Um, this video is directed towards a lot of you out there that are going to be taking calculus or just simply interested in the subject of calculus. And of course, it's a big topic. Now, if you are interested in knowing more about calculus and what it's about, I've uh, done a couple, uh, two, three different videos on my YouTube channel. They'll be in my calculus playlist uh, on, you know, understanding the basics of it. Anyone can understand this, but it's pretty interesting stuff. Calculus is an awesome math. And what we're going to be doing in this particular uh, problem is uh, determining what this is for this particular equation. So we have y equals x to the fourth plus 12x. We want to determine uh, this thing right here, okay? And just to kind of, a little bit of a spoiler alert, this is what we call the first derivative uh, dy dx. We can also be thinking of this as y prime for some of you out there that, uh, in fact, are familiar with calculus. So this is going to take us like one, two, three uh, steps to knock out. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty short video, but uh, before I get going, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything else in between. So if you're at those levels, which are generally middle school, high school, and even college level mathematics, I can help you out. If you are taking a test that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, maybe a uh, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. If it has math on it, I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool uh, math curriculum you might be interested in. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links uh, to uh, uh, my math notes in the description of this video. But you got to start taking notes. No way you could um, survive in a course like calculus or any math class at that without taking excellent notes. So just take great notes. You'll thank me later. Now, let's get into this first derivative business. Now, I'm just going to show you how we can calculate or, well, actually find the first derivative of this equation right here. That's kind of the idea and see that the steps are very, very easy in order to do that. But let's just try to get a sense of what the first derivative is. Now, again... I have more videos on this if you really want to get into it, but just a quick review. So we have this equation, this y equals, let me just go back up here, y equals x to the fourth plus uh, 12x. Now, with this equation, and by the way, I'm kind of very, very informally talking about the first derivative. So those of you out there that maybe are PhD in mathematics uh, and you teach calculus at a college level, obviously you would be teaching this, you know, in a more formal sense. I get that. I'm just trying to explain this so that any, uh, any person kind of get a basic idea. So here we have this equation. Now this equation, uh, if I put a little f of x in front of this y, okay, y and f of x are basically the same. So in other words, I could write this uh, right here, this y equals x to the fourth plus 12x as f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 12x. So this is a function. This is an equation. But basically, you kind of think of them more or less as the same thing. But what I really want to uh, express here is that you can graph these. Okay, Each of these here um, has an associated graph. Now, what that graph looks like, that's a whole other topic. But let's just imagine we have some function right here, and, and we're looking at its graph. We don't know the exact function. We don't know if it's y equals x cubed, whatever the case is. It's just some function, and we have its graph. Okay, so we're talking about this thing in this problem, this dy dx. It is uh, the same um, way to express that is y prime. So if we're talking about a function or this little y notation, this is y prime. But basically, we're talking about something called the first derivative in calculus, okay? So you can find the first derivative, the second derivative, even the third derivative, and those have all implications, especially for things like if you're taking a physics course, et cetera, et cetera. But we're, we're just talking about the first derivative. So in calculus, we have this thing called an integral, 
Okay. Now we kind of think of this as uh, finding the area underneath a curve, like right here we have a curve, and if we wanted to find the area underneath it, we would use this integral symbol. Okay, again, I have additional videos on this in my playlist, but we're using this symbol. Okay, we're talking about this. This is the other half of calculus, this dy dx, and this is the derivative, okay? Now, a great way to think of the derivative, and it's precisely what it is, it's an equation for the slope of this curve, okay? So here I have this function, this graph. So let's say I wanted to um, find the slope of, the, of this um, uh, function, this graph, at this specific point, okay? So you're like, hmm, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about what's the angle right here, okay? What is the angle at this uh, particular point? Well, it might be something like that. This line here, we call this the tangent line. But let's look over here. What do you think the angle of this function is right here, this graph? Well, the slope might be something like this, right? And so you, you could see that this is always changing. I'm going to kind of try to kind of sketch it right here. So the slope is constantly changing along this graph, all right? Well, the derivative is, the first derivative is basically the equation for the slope. So effectively, what the first derivative can do, if I have a function and I go find this first derivative, I can find the slope anywhere along this graph that I want. And that has serious implications, very, very powerful. We also uh, call this the rate of change. Okay, so why would I call that the rate of change? Because you can see this is changing. Okay, this is obviously changing. Again, I don't want to get overly techni technical, but this is what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're given some function, okay, some uh, y equals some equation and has an associated graph, and we're trying to find the first derivative, this thing, which again will give us the slope of um, uh, anywhere along. Uh, this graph that we desire to, you know, to explore. Okay, so hopefully I did a pretty good job of explaining the first derivative. I mean, this is obviously very, very, you know, uh, distilled down to the most basic sense, but that's the whole point of this video. So let's get into the actual application of um, finding the first derivative of this problem. Okay, so here we go. Y equals X to the fourth uh, plus 12X. Now, I'm going to show you. I got a lot of crazy notations. All we're going to do, y prime, that's how we say that, y prime, is the same as this notation here, dy dx, okay? It's the same thing. So all we do, and I, I'm going to explain this part right here because I'm kind of showing it a little more formally, is the following, okay? When you're finding the first derivative, uh, basically in calculus, you learn a bunch of rules, right? But the rules aren't o overly complex, they're just rules. So anytime we have like a positive power, okay, that's an integer, like so, we can do this, right? You see this little four right there? And in front of this x is actually a one. Okay, we don't write that, but that's what it is. And then over here, I have 12x. What's the power here? Well, it's to the first power, okay? So just watch this. Here's the rule that we apply anytime we have a positive integer, like so. We take that 4, okay? We multiply it by whatever number is in front of the x, or it could be uh, any other uh, variable. So 4 times 1 is what it is 4, okay? Then I'm going to write my x. Now, you see this 4 right here? All I'm going to do is subtract 1. You're always going to subtract 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Pretty easy. Okay, that's all we do. And then we're going to go on to the next term. Okay, so we have 12x to the first. So 1 times 12 is what? That's 12. So x, okay, 1 minus 1. I'm going to subtract 1 again is what? x to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so it's just going to be 12. Okay, so this is the answer, right? Super easy. We are done. We just found dy dx, which again is the first derivative. All right, so let's go ahead and just look at this a little bit more formally. So when you're looking at this, you're like, oh, wow, this looks more complicated. Well, it's not. Okay, so here I'm uh, going dy dx, right? And we're going to take the derivative of each one of these things. D, uh, this is going to be dx of this first term. And we'll write it the same way this way. So in more formal calculus symbology, we would find the first derivative, which is the same as that y prime, dy dx. And here's the answer again, uh, 4x cubed plus 12, or y prime is equal to 4x cubed plus 12. Again, this is the first derivative. 
and you're going to have to find the derivative of the derivatives, uh, first, second, and sometimes, you know, additional derivatives of all kinds of functions and calculus. But, you know, this is not that difficult. I mean, literally, we just, you know, went four times one is four, four minus one is three. I mean, it's like one, two, three, right? So calculus is, a lot of it is not that difficult. I mean, of course, you have to understand the concepts, and it's certainly much more, you know, um, you know, involved in what I'm making it out to be. You know, it's not going to be like super easy when you take a calculus course. You're going to definitely be challenged, but don't be intimidated by the concepts. Okay, so if you understand this, well, you just found the first derivative, the first derivative of a function, and you just learned some basic calculus. Okay, I would certainly encourage you if you're interested, if you're on the fence, and you're like, should I take calculus? Should I work towards doing that? I would definitely encourage you to uh, take calculus because it's just, well, like, just show you the power of mathematics. So many um, problems, you know, can only be solved with calculus. So kind of reach a point in your high school level mathematics or whatever, you know, well, generally in high school, although some students could take calculus in high school, you reach a kind of point where you can only do so much with algebra. You're going to have to jump into this universe of calculus to solve all kinds of cool problems. Very, very interesting in mathematics. So I would definitely encourage you to... Um, to work towards that if you're interested. Now, if you want to know more about calculus, kind of like at a basic level, certainly uh, you might want to check out my videos and my other uh, my other calculus videos in my calculus playlist on my YouTube channel. But if you like this little video, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you need help with any other type of level of mathematics, you know, that's lower than calculus. I do a few calculus videos, but my focus is really on middle and high school mathematics. I really try to teach, you know, teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you think you like my uh, instruction, please take advantage of all the videos that I have made, which is well over a thousand. So I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand videos basic to advanced mathematics and even high school level mathematics can get pretty sophisticated. So I have a ton of content. I'm going to be posting stuff all the time, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.